Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Billy's Bites. This week on Billy's Bites we're going to be making a beef and broccoli lo mein. This recipe does move kind of quick so I went ahead and did some of the prep work off camera which included chopping some of the veggies, making the noodles, as well as making the stir fry sauce. As always I will have everything listed down below so you'll be able to recreate this yourself. Now let's get on to the cooking. Go ahead and start off by heating one tablespoon of oil over a medium heat until the oil is shimmering. Then go ahead and add in your ground beef. Season your ground beef with salt, pepper, as well as some red pepper flakes. Then go ahead and break that ground beef chunk up. And then go ahead and add in your ginger. I don't know how much ginger I used, but do whatever your heart tells you. Can never really go wrong with that. Go ahead and let your beef cook through probably seven to ten minutes. Pull that off the heat, then just put in the bowl, let it sit aside, whatever suits your fancy. I went ahead then and added some thinly sliced onions to the pan, cook those until translucent, put those in the same bowl with the beef. Then we're going to go ahead and add in another tablespoon of oil to the pan, let that heat, then go ahead and add in three cups of broccoli, saute those for one to two minutes. Then go ahead and add in one quarter cup of water, cover that broccoli and steam it until most of the water has evaporated. Uh, you'll know that your broccoli is done when the broccoli florets have a nice deep green color to them. Then go ahead and add in your noodles, the beef, two cups of carrots, your onion, and that stir fry sauce. Toss everything to combine. Then cook it for an additional two to five minutes until that stir fry sauce has thickened. Go ahead serve this in a bowl with some chopped green onions as a garnish. And voila! This gave me about three servings worth, which is something I'm always looking for in a recipe, is something that I can have a lot of leftovers from. Thank you so very much for continuing to tune in every week to Billy's Bites. If you'd like this dish or any of the other dishes I've made, all the recipes can be found down in that Google Drive link below. As well as my email address for the show, feel free to reach out with questions, comments, ideas, whatever you really want. Thank you very much again, and I will see you next week.